What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Hope you're having a great week. So I took the razor out last night and there's definitely been a lot of improvement as far as braking, uh, power and modulation, but I'll go more into that this weekend when we take it out for that 30 mile ride. Today, I kind of just want to start ripping this thing back apart because I am determined to get this lithium battery installed and get more speed out of this thing before we go out for a group ride. Just to give you a little bit of background on this bike, in case you don't follow my channel, uh, it's already got a Conray 2000 watt brushless motor kit, but I've been running it on four SLA or sealed lead acid batteries uh, this whole time, just to maximize the use out of it since this bike is not even three months old. Uh, but I am looking for more speed now and I'm also looking to reduce weight. So I'm looking to get rid of these uh, SLA batteries um, and hoping for a better power delivery and torque overall and hopefully a higher top speed. So these are the four SLA batteries that I'm looking to replace with one battery pack. Uh, each one of these supposedly weigh like eight to nine pounds each. So we'll weigh all four of them together and then we'll uh, weigh the new battery pack later on just to see how much of a weight difference we're actually gonna have. Uh, another thing I'm looking to improve is the wiring. I wanna clean things up a little bit. I'm gonna keep the controller up here just to keep it further away from the ground because I do ride in the wet sometimes. Uh, so I'm gonna redo a lot of this wiring just to clean things up. I'm also gonna have to figure out a place to mount this voltage reducer since I currently have it mounted directly on a battery. And I'm also wondering if I have to get rid of this upper tray in order to fit the battery pack down here. Um, I guess there's only one way to find out. So let's start stripping this thing down. Well, that definitely gives me a lot of space to work with. Hopefully this height is enough for my BTR battery pack. I went with a 20 amp hour, so it's really not that big. So hopefully I don't have to make any modifications. I've actually been anxious to find out how much these four batteries weigh together. So let's go put it on the scale. All right, there it is. 33.4 pounds for all four. My new BTR Power 48 volt 20 amp hour battery pack supposedly weighs 14 pounds. So that would be insane to have a 19 pound weight savings on a bike just by doing one mod. So this is how I'm gonna have the wiring for now. It actually cleaned things up a little bit up front since all the wires and hoses are tucked up there and I made sure there was a lot of slack for when I turn. Uh, I kept the voltage reducer on the upper tray with Velcro. It's very light, so it's not going anywhere. I may or may not uh, clean things up more and reduce the amount of wiring once I strip down the frame to refinish it later on, but I just want to make sure I'm able to take this out this weekend. This is everything that came in the package that I got from BTR Power. Uh, everything came actually very well protected. I might be using this for the bottom of the tray when I mount the battery on actually. Uh, the dimensions definitely look a lot different than what they stated online. I think the 48 volt 20 amp hour was supposed to be like 10.6 by uh, 4 by 6 inch which is this definitely looks a lot fatter than that um, 
So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do some modifications to fit this properly. Here's the charger that it came with, uh, operator manual. This charger is supposed to get this up to 58.8 volts. When you initially charge it, obviously it'll settle for less than that. Uh, it came with some very heavy duty uh, wire connectors. So I think I'm gonna switch the stuff I have on the bike for this. Uh, since this definitely looks a lot better than what came with the Razer. This is the charge port. I got installed it on the side of the cover and wire it up to the battery. So it came very, very easy to figure out. Uh, you know, they laid it out for you well. Though I am concerned about the size of this thing and also the weight. So let's go check the weight. All right, so the weight came in a little heavier than what was advertised. 15.8 pounds, but really that's a lot lighter than the 33, 34 with the four batteries. So. I'm still happy with that. 15.8 is a significant improvement. I like how there's a little handle here for you to carry it, carry it with. So this user manual that it came with, it's actually pretty funny. It's got a odd message here. It says, my dear, for whatever reason, returning has caused a lot of inconvenience to your life and mood. We are very sorry about it. I'm wondering if they get a lot of returns, but don't just throw this away. It has the info on it one-year warranty, uh, return info card, and of course their contact info. So I've heard good things about BTR. We'll see how well it works out. If you are interested in checking them out, I will leave a link in the description where I got this battery. So for those of y'all that are curious about what the actual dimensions are, if you're considering this battery, it is eight and a half by five and a half by six. That said, it definitely looks like we're gonna have to cut out the upper tray after all, which I'm okay with because that's more metal gone. So I'm trying to reduce weight anyway. Good thing I just Velcroed this in place. So I'm gonna relocate the voltage reducer to a different place and transfer that Velcro to the battery. Uh, and I think I'm just gonna lay it down here since the tray is exactly six inches wide, which is the same exact width as the battery. Uh, so I'm gonna lay it down here once I cut this upper tray and bracket off. Uh, and then it looks like I'm gonna have to flatten either the front one or the back edge, just hammer it down till it's flat. Hopefully I can get away with just doing the rear. I really don't wanna do too many modifications to this frame. Uh, I was hoping to save that for later on. Just cut off the tab on the very front and then I folded the front edge down. And then from here to the frame is actually exactly eight and a half inches, which should be perfect for the battery. So this is six inch by eight and a half. Just paint around it just to make sure it doesn't corrode. I do want to refinish this frame at some point, but I'm not ready to do that. I just want to make sure that I don't do any damage by leaving this bare metal unprotected. So I'm going to spray paint the inside uh, around the edges of where I cut and where there's any sort of bare metal. And then we're gonna test fit the battery. Look at that. It's almost as if it was made exactly for this purpose. So uh, six inch wide, eight and a half from frame to this back ledge. It almost looks like it belongs there. I'm pretty happy with this. So now I can put the plastic covers back on and um, it uh, won't be too obvious that I have something aftermarket in there. So once I paint the frame, the bare metal portions, I'm gonna reinstall this with some foam under it, and then I'm gonna tie it in place.
you're planning on wiring all sorts of different electronics on your bike, such as lighting or a voltage step-down converter, and you have one of these, it's definitely a good idea to have one of these um, terminal slash connector multi-packs. It's gonna be useful if you're working with different size wiring. So like um, this is gonna be for the wiring coming from the BTR power pack. It's much larger gauge wiring and then this is for the lighting. They are all going to the same set of posts. And so this definitely helps keep the wiring clean and make sure that it makes full contact. So this is how everything meets up at the box. Nice and secure, sitting flat. Heavy duty connectors, definitely an upgrade from what I had before. I'm not gonna connect these yet until I have everything fully cleaned up and the covers on so I can wire up the charge port and then actually charge this thing before I hook this up. I don't want it to draw any power whatsoever until I have the battery fully charged. I think we're finally getting close to the finishing point. I'm gonna have to install this charge port on one of the side covers. I think what I'm gonna do is try to take the stock charge port off. Uh, it looks like it's just these two screws. Maybe one more back here, we'll find out. I think it just pops off after the screws are out and then we're gonna trim it just enough so this is fitted in place. Look at all this stuff off that we've taken off so far. Metal tray, bracket, four batteries. I'm pretty happy so far. It's looking really, really cleaned up. This is what the port looks like installed. Yes, I probably could have done it cleaner with the cut with a Dremel, but I really don't care that much. It looks decent. All right guys, we finally finished installing the new battery pack on the Razer MX650, MX2000. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it plugged in, um, let it charge overnight, and hopefully we can get more speed out of this thing and more torque and better power delivery with the 50 amp uh, BMS on the battery. I'm really hoping for more low amp torque and hopefully I can touch 40 miles an hour We'll find out with more riding this weekend. If you found today's video to be helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you wanna keep up with my projects, such as the MX Mini Supermoto build, my KLX, or any of my other projects, consider subscribing to my channel. But this is gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching.